Thank you for being with us on this Friday of the Word of Encouragement. Well, we've had five days in the new year. How you doing? Are you having great victory? Is everything going much better than in 2023? Well, I don't need to be light about that because God does want that to be the case. But oftentimes, by the time we get to the fifth day of a new year, we realize it's very similar to the old year. And if we truly want God's will in the new year, we have to look pretty uh, seriously at our life. And we have to look at our character, our thought patterns, our motives, uh, the habits that we have, and be very uh, just honest with ourselves about where we are if we're going to move forward. And often we think of the verses there in Philippians chapter 3, where the Apostle Paul uh, gives that deep, earnest desire of his heart to know Christ and to apprehend everything that God has purchased for him on the cross. He wants to be all that God wants him to be. And in that tremendous passage there, as he's talking about uh, uh, going forward, he says, forgetting those things which are behind. That's Philippians 3, verse 13, in the middle of that verse. And that's a very important concept. Now, what can happen is as we look at the past, we can become very introspective and just become prophetic about the future based upon our past. Well, because we continue to fail, we're going to continue to fail. Because we are limited, we're going to continue to be limited. Well, the fact is, in ourselves, that's true. But we've got to give the Lord the past, learn from it, and then move forward into reaching for those things that God has for us in this coming, in this year that we're in. And we've got to understand, too, that forgetting those things doesn't mean that we we just let it go. It means that we don't allow our past failures or successes to keep us from moving forward as we ought to. It's been said many times, but your future is as glorious as God is glorious. It's as powerful as God is powerful. It is as victorious as God is victorious. You and I are more than conquerors through him that loved us so. God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is more than enough. Uh, the Lord will do uh, exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. That is a fact. And so whatever has happened in the past that is discouraging, it is important to note that. But understand that that is simply a manifestation of our flesh and our lack of faith and our lack of uh, allowing the Spirit of God to truly have full control of our lives. And so what we need to do is we move into the future very humbly, letting God put his searchlight on our heart, showing where we're depending upon ourselves, where our goals are that are not his goals, where selfishness is prevailing. Let him really expose that. Ask him for victory. And then go forward by faith, to do everything he calls us to do. And if we will do that, I'm telling you, the abundant grace will be seen. Really, the biggest issue is for us to be humble. We're afraid of, of Satan's introspection and accusing. We just got to not let that happen. We've got to realize who we are in Christ. But we do need to be humbled and broken, realizing we haven't been what we ought to be. And so Paul made it very clear that I count not myself to have apprehended there in uh, the same verse, the first part of that verse. I haven't made it there yet, but I'm not letting myself get discouraged. I am moving forward by the grace of God. I am pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And it goes on in this passage, speaking of the two sides uh, going the earthly route or going the spiritual route. And so I want to encourage you, don't let the past haunt you, but be honest about it and then learn from it, be humble, and let God do now the work that he wants to do. Friends, we have a whole new chapter. God wants to give great victory. You, you can accomplish in one year 
what you have accomplished in years if you're on fire for God all year long. And there's no reason that we can't be. That is what we have in Christ. So I just want to give you that little bit of exhortation here today to encourage you about the fact that God wants you to move on from the past. But you need to be honest and humble with him. And then give yourself to him and he'll, he'll move you into the future in ways you would never expect. What a great God. And may 2024 be a year of real victory for each one of us so that we can glorify God and accomplish his purpose in our lives.